Hey everyone, today we're making fish tacos for Taco Tuesday. Now I'm gonna be using a filet of sole fish and I'm gonna be putting a nice Mexican rub on it for that good flavor. And then we'll follow it up with some zesty coleslaw along with some sliced avocado. It is delicious, you're gonna love it. And I'm using some new taco shells that I've never tried before and I wanna share that with you. And this recipe is so easy to make, it's very quick. You can put this out on a you know weeknight in 20 minutes, it's very fast delicious and healthy. So I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to do it right after this. So before we get started, I just wanna mention that over here at Rockin' Robin Cooks, we are always cooking up some really healthy recipes that are full of flavor. That's my emphasis. I, things have got to taste good, right? So uh, if that sounds good to you and you're interested in eating healthier and reading labels and knowing what you're putting in your body, then hit that or smash that subscribe button and click the notification bell so you'll be notified when new videos come out every week. We're gonna start our recipe off by making the coleslaw first because the fish takes just a few minutes to cook. And like I said, this, this recipe's coming together very, very quickly. So what I have here in my bowl is my mayonnaise for my sauce for the coleslaw. I'm using a special mayonnaise. I'm not using conventional mayonnaise because I don't like the ingredients. They're not good for you. They use canola oil and all kinds of things that are you know not good for your body. So I'm using Primal Kitchen. Here we go. Check this out, this is avocado oil mayonnaise. And if you look at the ingredients it has in it, avocado oil, organic eggs, organic egg yolks, organic vinegar, sea salt, and organic rosemary extract. Super healthy, Costco's now selling uh, a version of this, not the same brand. It's not my 100% favorite. I like this brand better in just in terms of its general flavor, but the other one, you can't beat the price, so you might wanna check that out if you go to Costco. So to our mayonnaise, we're gonna add some apple cider vinegar. We'll need a lemon. Now, I happen to have an organic one here. A friend gave this to me and um, from her tree. And so I'm gonna use that. And we're gonna use the zest from this as well, which is even more reason to wanna use organic, right? So just go ahead and zest the whole darn lemon right into your mix. What's nice about the zest is you get all those oils from the lemon and it just is so flavorful. Then we're gonna take our press and I'm gonna measure out about a tablespoon and a half. It's not exact, so it's just, you know, a general guideline. There we go. Now to sweeten this up a little bit, we're using some maple syrup. This is actually, I think, a little better than using other types of sugars for keeping your blood sugar low. It doesn't really spike it. I go not quite a full tablespoon, so I'll just put that in there and it just counterbalances all the acid in this and makes it taste wonderful. I'm gonna give it a little bit of a, a drizzle of garlic powder and a pinch of salt. And I'm gonna mix this up and that's, that's our ingredients for this. Now I like to keep this in a mason jar and then add as much as I want to however much coleslaw I need to make. I'm gonna pour just the amount of coleslaw that I need for my tacos that I'm making right now which I'm just gonna estimate to be, you know, something like that. And then I'm just gonna pour some of this in to what I think it needs and just give it a toss. So we're gonna put this in the fridge. I'll cover it with some saran wrap and just keep it in there until we're ready to make our tacos. Now let's talk about fish. Now I mentioned earlier I'm using petrali sole, which is a flat fish and it's a little more expensive than some of your other fishes, but I, our family really loves this fish and I cook it all the time. In fact, I have a recipe where I'm um, frying it or sauteing it with some breadcrumbs and I'll leave a link for that recipe. That is a very popular recipe. People love that recipe. So do check that out. Um, but anyways, you can see how thin this, this piece is, hence the name flatfish. So it doesn't take long to cook, it'll take like three minutes to cook this, not very long at all. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to coat it with my Rockin' Robin uh, taco seasoning rub or spice mix and just coat it up and just rub it in. Then flip it over and do both sides. Just a light coating is all you need. Now let's talk about the taco shells. I remember I told you I had found these taco shells I absolutely love. Here they are, they're called siete, which is seven in Spanish. 
And uh, their ingredients, check it out. They're really good. They make their taco shells with, guess what? Avocado oil. So these are really healthy. Um, they're made with cassava flour, and that's like a root. So, and they taste amazingly good. I mean, I like these better than regular corn taco shells. And um, they have a different kind of crunch. It's a softer crunch, if, if I could explain it that way. Regular taco shells have a big crunch and like big chunks of it fall off and it's a mess and these stay together better. They have a nicer crunch, but a nice crunch. And uh, I'll show you when I take a taste. But anyway, so I got my oven preheated to 400. We're gonna cook those and they take two minutes in the oven. So we're gonna kind of time it and get everything out at the same time if we can. To cook up our fish, I've got my frying pan here. I'm gonna put it over medium heat and I'm gonna add just a little bit of, of guess what, avocado oil. Uh, just a little bit so that the fish doesn't stick to the pan. Maybe just a teaspoon just so it coats the bottom. And we want our pan to be hot so that way it'll sear and um, maybe get a little crust on our, our fish. I'm going to lay the fish in the pan. And you can hear it sizzle a little bit. That's what we want. And I'm going to go ahead and put those taco shells in the oven. Our taco shells are done. I'm taking them out. I'm going to set them right here while the fish continues to cook. I think it's time to turn that fish over. Looking good. That'll take about a minute more and it'll be done. As long as your fish looks white, you know, opaque, this looks like it's done. So I'm going to pull it off. All right, I got my shells, they're ready. Everything's ready, it, this comes together so quickly. That's what you're gonna love about this. I think one of the things anyway, other than the flavor, uh, I'm gonna set my, every taco needs a taco holder. So that's what I have here, holds them up straight for me, makes it easy. All right, so I'm gonna cut my uh, filet here into, I don't know, a couple pieces and just place this right in my taco. What I like about a nice thin filet. You get the you get the fish going up the side of the taco and so like it's almost like every bite you get a little fish, you get a little bit of coleslaw and you get a little bit of avocado. So I really like that. So I hope I'm making you hungry with this. All right, it's crunch time, ladies and gentlemen. We can't wait too long because even crunchy tacos will get soft if they sit too long, so we better get to it. I'm happy to try it out. All right, here we go. Listen to this crunch. <laughs> I lost my avocado out the back end, didn't I? <laughs> Flavors are delicious. Of course, I love the crunch. Now, you can make these with the soft tortillas if you want to, but I like the crunch. No doubt about it. So let me know, are you a hard shell taco lover or a soft shell? Let me know down in the comments. I want to hear from you. Absolutely delicious. You got to try these. Let me know down in the comments. Um, if you try them, let me know what you think. What do you think about these taco shells? I mean, I love them. They have such good flavor. They're healthy. What's not to like? Thank you so much for watching. I hope you try this. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel share the video and leave me a comment. You know anybody who likes Taco Tuesday, this is the thing to make right here. All right, guys, we'll see you next time. Take care.